Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is Hungary fighting China. Move over here. Looks like they're following me. They're following me, but they won't attack me. Now they're retreating. I really don't want to attack them. Because I want to be the one that's defending. I can't get them to fight me. There's 230,000. Let's see, was it war reps? 2947. Fight me. You're more than 10 times my size. Maybe if I move over here. Yeah, that magical no attrition for the enemy. Wait till they all leave that province. They just keep walking back and forth. Can't get access through the uh, Timurids. Attack me, you cowards. They just have so many stacks. They're going to have troops over here. So I can't even snipe that stack. I would fight that stack if they were the only one over here. Yeah, they just keep moving troops between those provinces. Maybe if I move over here, split my forces, try to draw them into a fight. Oh, okay, now we'll do it. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the 4-6, because I think with these long fights, I do have a 6-3, but I think since this fight is going to go on forever, a 4-6 is probably better than a 6-3. Same maneuver. Come on. We lost. Lost and I'm trapped. I can't go anywhere. Okay, well, we recovered our uh, morale because we won the battle, which was kind of amazing that we won that. They won't accept war ups, but they'd give me a thousand ducats. Can't force march out. Yeah, 
yeah. Close. Can retreat in eight days. Go ahead and retreat. All right, we're alive. Oh, here we go. Okay, they'll give me war reps. They'll give me war reps and 300 ducats. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and accept that right now, actually, because that's what I wanted and. Uh, No other point, really, because they might not give that to me. So, uh, yep, yeah, now we're going to get 240 ducats. We lost 35,000 men, they lost 125,000 men. So these guys can walk all the way back to Bohemia, because that's probably who I'm going to attack next. Novgrad is attacking Bryansk. Novgrad, that's the province that I want. For Neville. They want Neville. Fine. Alright, well, uh... That worked out pretty good. Oh, Novgrad's already been fighting them. The ultimate thing is to loot China. That would be probably in the millions of ducats. That would be a massive windfall right there. But uh, the second best is war reps. Where the third best is war reps, probably the first best is actually taking all of their money. And then war reps. Of course, if you take all their money at the same time, you get uh, massive inflation. So I'd say war reps probably is better. There's a lot of plagues going on. There's not just plagues anymore, they're like different kinds. So like influenza and smallpox. So they'll happen multiple times. It's like Crusader King system almost. Fortunately, they're fighting these guys. If I can grab this province before they uh, peace out, they might give that to me. That would uh, save a war. We've lost the Siege of Lazia. Alright, actually I should... I was going to say I should delete my mercs, but uh, we're making 230 ducats, so there's probably no reason to delete my mercs. Alright, let's split these guys up. You can go down there, deal with those Bulgarians, you can come over here. I'll conserve manpower with the uh, mercs. Can't do claims when I'm at war. And that needs to be 40. I think I have the automatic investment set up. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, it is on. 10% every three years. Yeah, that's okay. I think my... Uh, My property income is about to get really low. 
because there's going to be massive overinvestment from all this cash that's going to come into our treasury. All right, those guys can go over there. I'll do these things, provide grain, full grain, temporary tax relief. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce all taxes, no taxes for the poor. Well, not all taxes, no admin taxes. That'll be zero. I'll reduce this down to uh, 20 and reduce that one a couple. Alright, I'm just chasing those guys. We'll, uh, we'll sit on their capital. I don't know why they're not sieging down this province. Alright, yeah, they just gave them to us. Okay. Cool. That saves a war. Thanks, Novgorod. Totally legal, very cool. I guess I'll siege down Karachev for them. I do want these two provinces, I think. No, I don't. Okay, they can take those provinces then. Yeah, they can have all those provinces. I might just let them keep Neville, actually. That's good. I think they conquered this, but then they gave it to us, which is nice. Never really see the AI doing that. Probably because I don't select what provinces I want. Should do that more often. No taxes for the poor. We don't need their money. We got that China money coming in. Alright, Lithuania pieced out. And this province fell immediately. Right before the end of the war. Novgorod owes us 19 favors. Alright, so... They took all of that. Left Staro dub. They gave us this province. Let's start coring those two provinces. That is our border for this area. Well, we need Crimea, actually. Over here, it's pretty much our border. The only change that I would make, potentially, is getting rid of some of these provinces over here, but I'm not going to add any more, so that is our border over there. We suffered uh, 12 aggressive expansion. Pretty much with nobody, so. I'm gonna actually fight the uh, Teutonic Order. Oh, shit. Nope, not gonna fight him. Didn't get a claim, and my spy network decreased. Alright, I'm gonna fight Bohemia. We actually have uh, claims on Bohemia. I'll build the spy network in Austria just to loot them again. That uh, China war was kind of close, actually. Lithuania has become a tributary state of Karakianlu. Let's move these guys up there. Alright, double pincer movement on Bohemia. Actually, take that fort. I 
do some severe looting. Probably should have uh, actually annexed Mazovia, started that annexation process first before doing that, but that's all right. Yeah, our, our autonomy, is that just because we annex them? Is that increasing? Yeah, okay, but that's, it should be, our autonomy should decrease in these provinces, hopefully now. Yeah, it looks like it is decreasing very slowly in some of these provinces. Now that that river system is uh, completed, or connected is probably the better word. And they can just sail down that river. Did they embrace commercialization? What did they embrace? Okay, they have scientific method is spreading really quickly. We're gonna have it soon. We're gonna have it in less than two years. Uh, global trade is nowhere. Can't even see it anywhere on the map. Neither where it exists or where it's spreading to. Let's actually fight, fight those guys. I don't think there's any way I can spend all of this money. I'll fight them too. Screw it. Burn of taxation. All right, we actually got to uh, hurt a little bit there. I do you want to build forts? There's three forts here right next to each other. I'm gonna get rid of Kharkov, build a fort here. There's not a whole lot of forts in this area, so let's go ahead and do... A fort there, fort there. Fort here, fort there, make a fort there, okay, I think that's good. Let's actually move these guys down. They can siege while they're recovering. Where are those bohemians trying to go? Alright, yeah, you can go back up there, sure. We're gonna try to back try to take back the province that we just took. They suck at it though. Alright, I think I could loop Prague before this this uh, siege actually finishes. Might as well, and then combine and take care of those bohemian troops up there. I 
I don't know how much I'm gonna get. Up to preventing a coalition. I'm okay with the Teutonic Order, Bohemia, Poland, Lithuania, and all those guys being in the coalition, but uh, not any of the other HRE powers. Let's actually take down this fort. If I can take down that fort, lose this province, that's alright. It's not a good province. Yeah, there's absolutely no way I'm going to spend all that money. Actually, let's fight him. That siege is taking too long. I'm too impatient. And I gotta save my people. Take the dead stacks. That was a seven day siege. I think I've done a three day siege before. It's a 21 day siege. I forgot who that was. Might have been Lithuania. Three day siege. Move these troops back. I'm going to take uh, the next innovativeness idea, actually, because that's global institution spread, so that should help getting those uh, remaining institutions. They have one fort left. Where's their other troops? Alright, there's some troops down there that can't do anything. And Brandenburg's troops are trouncing around in Lithuania. Former Lithuania. Don't know how they got all the way over there. Forts mean nothing. Fort mechanics. Go ahead and donate to the church. I'm not going to do that again. Yield concessions to ancient liberties to make the nobles less pissed off. Let's do these again. How much does this cost? Only 2400 Let's go ahead and take that. That re reduces dip and mill tech those two costs. All right, you go over there. If I ever get this province, 64%? Come on. You can do it. Just give up. Alright, they can go over there, save them. I'm going to go ahead and do a claim on that province so we can take out the Teutonic Order next. 
I'll probably temper how much provinces I take from Bohemia just because I want to take most of the Teutonic Order's provinces. So I, sh I really wanted to fight the Teutonic Order first. But that claim... The whole claim process failed me. Alright, what do you give me? What will you give me? Alright, Teutonic Order, Lithuania. Definitely not Prague. Okay, so I'm going to take one province. I'll take this province. It's the usual suspects. Teutonic Order, Bohemia, Lithuania, Poland, Briansk. I could probably take this province, but... Uh, if I take a third province, depending on the development, that's uh, what, 8, 23, that's 34 development. That would give me a massive coalition, so I think I'm going to just take one, and then I'll have a little buffer room to take uh, most, if not all, of the Teutonic Order's provinces. You can revoke your core. Give me war reps, sure. You can go ahead and release that country. Alright, I don't want to do that. That's a lot of aggressive expansion. Just give me money. As if I need more money. Give me one month of Chinese war reps worth of cash. All right, that group can go over there. This group will uh, attack that area. And uh, I'm going to end this part here, and then fight the Teutonic Order in the next part. So uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.